Deadly aerial attacks from Russia continuing to rain down on Ukraine's capital city of Kiev Monday during morning rush hour. Officials there say the weapons were mostly kamikaze drones supplied by Iran. Iran has denied providing Russia with the weapons. Mayor Vitaly Klitschko labeling the Russian attacks as terrorism. More than 200 apartments building destroyed from the Russian attack were killed a lot of people, civilians, and guilty people. This Ukrainian parliament member calling for a global response to Russia's assault. We're asking also for the uh, further sanctions uh, for, for this the country that is actually you know, selling uh, drones to, um, to Russia. And Russia's military confirming a warplane has crashed into a residential area on the Sea of Azov. The pilots reportedly ejecting after the plane suffered an apparent engine failure. Also today, the U.S. and NATO kicking off nuclear training exercises in Europe. The long-planned annual nuclear drills will include dozens of aircraft, including U.S. B-52 long-range bombers. Russia holding its own nuclear exercises this month, which could include live missile tests. President Vladimir Putin continuing to stoke nuclear fears over U.S. and NATO support for Ukraine, calling a potential direct conflict a very dangerous move, which could lead to a global catastrophe. The Kremlin says it's sending almost 9,000 soldiers to Belarus to bolster its strategic border with Ukraine. Meanwhile, the U.S. announcing another $725 million more of assistance for Ukraine that will include Humvees, weapons, and ammunition. The total amount of U.S. aid to Ukraine now at $17.6 billion since Russia invaded Ukraine. We're now learning 108 Ukrainian women were freed in a prisoner swap with Russia. Ukraine, in turn, releasing 80 Russian civilian sailors and 30 military personnel. Aika Jachi, ABC News, Washington.